do it again from the beginning and start and stop as I need to. to talk about. So we start at piano and there's really nothing written in dynamic wise until here. So I like to kind of start soft and kind of let the the natural contours of this little section um, determine the volume. So I, I don't feel like I need to write anything in but I feel like this is one of those it's fine where as it gets louder or sorry as it gets higher I let it get louder as it gets softer let it back off a little bit. I didn't really need oxygen. I just, um, I find that for myself, and this is probably most people, but for myself, um, when I start to uh, run out of air, like my concentration goes funny and I'll make mistakes I wouldn't otherwise have made. But also, if there's something tricky, like that A that I don't want to pop out right here, I want to keep this still kind of piano. Um, so like this could have gone up a little bit. I will write it in and then back down. But I want to keep that little section there still piano. So I don't want that A to like squawk, like just jump out at my at me or whoever's listening. So I think having that breath, that extra pause before I head into that will just help facilitate that. into it it wasn't still piano but I kind of gave it a little but I didn't it didn't jump out I got there more naturally I think the most dramatic moment. So here I think this little, what do they call it? <laughs> Crocodile teeth, that's what the kids call it, um, that I work with, or like alligator mouths, you know, the crescendo de crescendo. I think that the in between there, it's just a mezzo forte. That's not clear. Let's keep going. Oh, that mistake I just made. I want to make sure I use the correct fingering for that B I need to use. The pretty hand B. The voicing on that is a little tricky on this instrument for me, or more tricky than it would be on my B flat. So I would practice that a few times. difference bigger and start softer there and then get louder there simple stuff right but I just didn't do it
So I think that definitely needs to be softer than I started. So if the beginning is here, and then that entrance there needs to be, This study is in a minor key. It has a bit of like flamenco flair that I really like. So I'm gonna try and channel that a bit more as I go on and bring that out. I'm gonna start back here on the forte. The first time we've had a printed forte, so it's important, right? <laughs> to writ. I really only just did it at the end there, but it's written much further back. It's here and then we have that lent, lent, I don't know. My foreign pronunciation is awful, awful, awful. Let me do this whole thing again. <laughs> good I think that's better has even more of that like flamenco flair I think with that big dramatic writ and slow moment <laughs> and I think a, a nice big pause I did not pause long enough before that smudge confusing. I think it's whoever uploaded this wrote a sharp in and it just didn't really show up. For some reason, after the writs we've had written in before, a part of my brain wants to slow down there, but I think it really shouldn't. I think it should not accelerate, but it should keep pushing forward. Basically just not slow down it, with, a, with a touch more extra movement forward. execute that quite as well as I would have liked. struggle with grace note placement sometimes um if it's in like if it's not like right before the beat then I struggle with it a little bit So 
So I'm gonna go back at the tempo one. to be more piano because I ended forte there so I need to really bring out this pianissimo so that this piano there feels like a step up. I'm going to do the end of that forte section just to help myself out. play this ending one more time and then play the whole thing and then probably gonna wrap up for the day because my voice is tired um so I'm gonna start back at the tempo one where the pianissimo is that I've circled oh I'm not straight <laughs> there I just want it to move I mean like noticeably faster it should feel more organic but also I'm gonna draw in a nice big crescendo because that's a big moment and I think just the words sometimes don't trigger my brain the same way that the symbol does <laughs> oh I messed up that fingering again I messed it up earlier but kind of saved it and then that time I just full on messed it up. Also, I don't want to back off there. So I'm going to keep crescendoing all the way through to the end so that this piano is nice and dramatically different. I had it right the first time. There we go. I've played it right every time and then I looked at it too closely and I messed it up again. That's not what's there. treat that piano at the end like a subido piano. I'm gonna play the ending one more time just to make sure I get this right. 